And hello, everyone. We are online now for the Animal Management uh, Preparation Webinar for August meeting 2019 um, in Taiwan. Uh, welcome everyone who is uh, live with us. We are having this uh, webinar for you to get an idea of what the animal management session will be about, who will be your session team, um, but also giving you a small overview about the agenda that we will have for our sessions, but also for the General Assembly in total. At the very end, of course, you can also ask some questions. So just stay with us and uh, watch the webinar and also welcome at this point to those who will watch the webinar afterwards live or not live anymore, but afterwards. Um, yes. So um, we will start with the short introduction round for our session team members. So first of all, hello, my name is Georg. I'm the vice president for capacity building um, and I'm responsible for this, uh, for this sessions, but I have a wonderful team with me which will help me facilitate all the sessions and preparations and so on. So they will be actually the main actors within animal management. So let's start. Um, I just realized, I think I was with uh, Sarah's uh, face all the time so far. So hello again, I'm New York. Um, but let's start with Sarah. Maybe you can introduce yourself. Okay, hey. Um, hey, hi everyone. So yes, I'm Sarah and um, I'm from BEMSA, Belgium. And this year I was a local president there um, from my local committee, Leuven. Really enjoyed it. Um, next year I will definitely continue my IFSA journey. And this is the second time that I'm a support person for the animal, animal management sessions. So I hope that I um, heard every feedback from previous time and that we can um, implement it this time. And what I'm really looking forward to, and I will, will tell you about this afterwards, um, is the hackathon. So that's already a spoiler alert. That was it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, Sarah, let's go next with Zayn. Hello, everyone. I'm Zayn Muthanna from IFMSA Iraq. Currently, I'm the Capacity Building Division Director in my NMO. This is my second consecutive GA. After attending the first NMO management sessions, I loved them so i'm looking forward to meet you all and share the knowledge and experience from the capacity building and see you in taiwan thank you very much Sain. um helena hi everyone this is helena from amsterdam australia really wish i could share my video but unfortunately in port moresby popping at the moment and the data just won't support that but I'm currently serving as the chair of AMSA Global Health and really, really excited to be very, very soon. Thank you as well, Helena. And we also have Rajesh with us. Hello, everyone. I'm Rajesh Sarma from NMSS Nepal. Um, I'm currently the supervising council member of our NMO and I'm currently the IFMSA fundraising assistant as well. Um, I'm really, I'm really looking forward to know you more and and share about share everything we know, and hopefully, um, I'd like to meet you all in Taiwan. Thank you. Thank you, Rajesh, very much. We also have three more people with us, uh, which is Alistair. He's the development assistant of um, Africa. He's from Simsa, Simsa Zimbabwe. Uh, we also have. Uh, Serena from I am Burkina Faso, and also uh, we have Lucia from IFMSA Spain with us in the session team. So latest in August meeting, you will meet all of us. And now uh, we will start with our small presentation. So uh, Sarah, please start the presentation. Mm -hmm. Just a moment. The first thing that it, we are going to do, yes, it's working perfectly fine. Just uh, going to more slides, I guess. Oh, so this is a session team. Exactly. So here you can see the session team uh, with all our uh, with all the faces. And on the next slide, we are starting already with a small overview about the agenda that we will have for animal management sessions. 
So as you can see, uh, four out of five days of the General Assembly in the mornings, this is always from 9 to 1 um, p.m., we will have our animal management sessions, the full mornings all the time. And uh, we have quite the, a variety of sessions. We will go through the most important ones, giving you an overview right now. But on the, we also tried to have like a golden thread throughout the session. So we will start from the very beginning, which is, of course, getting to know each other, but also needs assessment, which is something that is very important if you want to develop your NMO further, um, going through strategic planning and also um, until the very end where we will talk about implementation and follow up. But what the detail of the different sessions will mean, we will go through now. So let's start with needs assessment and the person who will be responsible. I think in this case, it's Rajesh, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, need assessment. So it's uh, basically a systematic process for determining and addressing needs or gaps, uh, which is between the current condition and desired conditions of your animals. So, so that we can increase the current performance of the animal. Uh, the main goal for you people out there is to be able to learn the tools to assess your animal's need and determine an approach, um, approach on how to address, address those needs in order to attend your uh, in order in, a, in order to attend your ideal animal state and i know the need assessment is the hardest part for every animal because um, it's like the diagnosis of the like disease because if you know the diagnosis then the half of the, the disease is already cured so um, and we, we guys will be helping you out how to assess those problems and and make your animal a better and well performing. Perfect. Thank yeah. you very much. This was just a short overview. Um, also, you. just for you at this point, uh, for most of the sessions, we will have either two or three facilitators, because as you can imagine, usually animal management sessions do have 50 to 100 participants. So of course, we are a very big number. So there will always be a team of two or three helping you with this session. and. Georg? Okay, uh, your connection is a little bit bad, but I think we can go on to strategic planning. Yes, exactly. Okay. You, you don't so, hear me? Uh, yeah, now it's, now it's fine again, but you were gone for a while. <laughs> okay. Okay. So uh, yeah, strategic planning. And as Helena is with us, I think she will start with the beginner stream, right? No, Helena is doing the advanced stream. Okay. So Alistair and me are doing um, the strategic planning beginning. And um, basically, um, once we had did the needs assessment, we have now um, a vision of what our goals and needs are. And then we can just start doing it and look like the guy in this picture. Or um, we could make a plan. And we're going like previous. Two streams are I've never heard that word before. You should join us. Um, we're talking about Fimosas, a little bit about smart goals. Why should I develop a goal? How will I uh, how will I develop my strategic plan? And we're going to try to already implement it in something you would like. So for your NMO or for your LC, maybe for a project. Um, and then the advanced stream is for Helena, if she's here. Yeah, so thanks for that, Sarah. Uh, so essentially, just to quickly cover it, it's a strategic plan forms the backbone of every NMO and shapes the direction, priorities, and allocation of resources for each NMO, regardless of the change of leadership that typically occurs every year. So in the advanced stream, that's more so for the NMOs who already have a strategic plan or have experienced utilising the models that Sarah was talking about earlier. We will only cover the basics um, quite briefly. So Lucia 
key foundational knowledge for the session beforehand, just to help you determine which session is more suitable for you. The outcomes from the session will be to assist you and your NMO in refining your strategic plan, effective utilization of that strategic plan, and forming and correlating that with an annual working plan as well. But if you have a specific question or problem related to this within your NMO, please do let us know beforehand, and we're happy to try and incorporate relevant strategies into the session itself. Thank you very much, Helena. So we are going to break out sessions and I think Sign, it's you. Okay, hello everyone. Uh, we want to, to design uh, sessions that are uh, focused on the needs assessment that we already sent you in the email. I believe Sarah sent it maybe two hours ago or three hours. And also, in addition to our needs assessment that we gathered from the NMOs in our that in the international database, so we design uh, we designed sessions that will be happening parallel with two uh, one to two uh, members of the session team. For example, we are having the financial management and fundraising. Uh, this is a very important issues for some developing NMOs. Actually, in my NMO in IFMSA Iraq, we are having some problems with the fundraising. We can't get uh, funds uh, that will support us to have as many as NGAs as possible. And second, we will have the small working group management. The small working group management for NMOs is very important, how to manage a small working group and how to work together to achieve a certain goal in your NMO or maybe in the international level. And thirdly, with the one of the most important sessions in the capacity building and for us in, in, in NMOs is the conflict management, how to control and manage a conflict, how to prevent a conflict from happening. Uh, these are the basic three sessions and maybe we will have some sessions more during the GA depend on your needs assessment and uh, hope these sessions can help you improve yourself, improve the members and develop your animals to its highest potentials. Um, thank you, Sane, very much um, for introducing. As he said, it will be based also on the needs assessment that was sent to you. So um, the proposed sessions might also change um, to whatever is based on your input that we receive. Uh, we just need to check quickly because we saw that the screen sharing did not work right now. Um, so I will just start um, doing this um, now for you. And we should be here. OK. So you should be able to see the screen right now. Um, we After the breakout sessions, I think we have a very excited Sarah now telling you about the hackathon. Sarah? Um, maybe we can skip for now uh, Sarah because I cannot hear her right now. Um, and she she left us for a moment. Um, let's go further with the master classes um, for now until Sarah is back with us. The master classes are basically a session in which we would like to um so sharing the screen the master classes are basically a, a stream in which we give all the participants the opportunity to uh, share with other nmos what they are best in what they maybe um, have been done in the previous years and they would like to share with other nmos because we also saw that especially open space discussions were a thing that uh, were feedback that we would like to have more and also more time for you to just share with each other what you know best. So for instance, we had um, members or participants giving a session about how to change your corporate identity, how to change your logo, and all about the process behind, or how to send, set up a, 
a strategic plan maybe even or um, a new homepage. So everything that is uh, related to something that an NMO can do and either of the participants is willing to share with others. We uh, saw in the past years that this has been very fruitful sessions and very interesting topics. So this is also your time to shine and show others and learn from each other. Exactly. Um, the next part is implementation and follow up, which should okay. be done by right. Alistair, Me? but he's not here. So I think. I think yes, I'll cover you can it go. Up. Um, hello, I'm again. So after all this session, I think you all will be able to find a like plan to uh, to make your animals function well. So now you already come up with a plan to make your animal run smoothly. So uh, the hardest part will be to getting the plan done. So <clears throat> you need to engage many partners and you need to uh, execute it and then you need to make a you need to make a good documentation of it so that uh, the best practices you did in your animals uh, will be handed over to the newer generation and it will help in the sustainability of your animals. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. OK, perfect. So um, especially with this session of implementation follow-up, we also want to guarantee that everything, and this will be um, a theme for us throughout the animal management sessions, that whatever we are doing, whatever you're learning in these sessions can be implemented at home. And you will have enough time to actually think about how you can use whatever we learned, whatever method we went through, how you can adapt it to your own needs. And especially this part of implementing and follow up, we want to make sure that you take and plan the first steps of what you're gonna do when you're back home. So really looking forward to this. Uh, Sarah is still trying to uh, connect with us again, then she will give us a short uh, update on what is the hackathon about. If she's not able to join again, I will just uh, cover this for now. But before we continue with the general information for you, there's also some space as promised for questions. Um, so you can just add your questions to the thread right now, if you have any. Um, I don't see any for now. Let me know anyone else if you can see questions or you can feel free to just add them. I think I'm back. <laughs> If you hear me. OK, that's great. Then let's go back to the hackathon. Yes, we can hear you. OK. So I so, would say the stage should be yours. I tried okay. to go back to the, yeah. It's fine, it's fine. OK, so sorry that uh, uh, I had some technical issues. Um, but my that the session with the hacker will help because it's such a big thing. Uh, also looking at Bjork to help us out. Um, but what is a hackathon? Because it's something new. We tried it previous um, TA. And it's basically um, you guys are going to find a solution um, for a problem statement that we are going to give you. Am I, am I clear? <laughs> is it OK? Because I see I don't see anything. Yes, okay. I think it's fine. Uh, it was just like short interruptions, but I think overall we heard you. OK. So um, you will be in two groups, probably, or maybe more. We will see. And it's really a comp uh, competition, actually. And you will have to um, present your ID to a judge, maybe. And we will give you all the tools needed to create a solution. And it's basically going to be really fun. Um, to give you an example, what we did previous year, um, the, there was an uh, issue about um, information getting lost in, in the IVSA. And the participants came up with an application, a really an app, um, to combine all the information and to have a calendar on it with, uh, um, with all kinds of dates and questions. And, Basically, um, they're really going to try to implement the app to um, make sure the app is going to exist. And that's the first uh, first hackathon we ever did. So this year, maybe, who knows what's going to happen. Um, everyone can 
help with uh, <laughs> making the eye of a mosaic grow. <laughs> Sorry, I was <laughs> really trying to get back to you. That was it. So I hope you're really motivated to join us in the hackathon. Thank you very much, Sarah, for the explanation. Um, you, you can be really excited about this. We will have another great and interesting um, topic for you to solve, problem statement for you to solve. Um, so all of us are really curious what the solutions are going to be this time and if we can have something implemented actually afterwards as we did last time for March meeting. Cool. As for now, I don't see any questions. Um, I think there are no questions yet. Yes. Um, so if there are no questions, I will continue for now with a few informations about the preparations for the sessions. First of all, you received an email about the needs assessment and some general information um, within this email from Sarah. Um, so if you have not received it in your inbox, please check also your spam field folder and everything because sometimes those emails unfortunately get lost, but you received an email today. If not, just contact us, uh, one of us, either me uh, on my email address, vpcp at fmsa.org or any of us. However, there is a needs assessment form with a deadline from one week from now. It's very important for you to fill, as we said, because we want to have a concrete look on what you actually want to hear from us in the breakout sessions, what you would be willing to give as a session in the master classes for other animals, and also if there are any other topics you would like to discuss in the open space discussions. This is the first thing, and also in this email, you will see that there is a link to the Facebook Facebook group that we have for animal management sessions because we will post updates there all the time and keep you informed. In addition, we do have a survival kit with all needed information um, about sessions, about the general assembly, about what you have to prepare, um, everything related to animal management sessions and the GA that is important for you. Also a very important part of this whole procedure is to actually try to prepare yourself by thinking about your animal. What are the topics that um, are pressuring, pressuring for you right now in the NMO, certain things that are important organizational-wise that you would like to improve, things that work fine, things that can be improved. So we have time and possibility to actually talk very specifically about your topics that you would like to discuss and takeaways that you uh, want to have after the sessions. Of course, hopefully you are right now watching the webinar or watching it after uh, we recorded it. And in addition, we will have some buddy groups. What are buddy groups? It's basically that the session team will distribute themselves among the participants. So we have smaller groups that can help you with the preparations, that can help you throughout the animal management session, throughout the whole GA, to help you with the content if something is unclear, to answer your questions, to receive feedback. Everything that is also getting more personal as we do have quite a big group of participants. The next thing, also I would like to use the possibility to just give you an overview about the general agenda for the General Assembly. So as you can see, as I told you before, all the mornings uh, four, four out of five days are animal management sessions. Um, parts of the agenda that might either be new or uh, in a way different that um, I would just quickly um, tell you a bit about it. Um, the first thing that you can see is the IFMSA fringe. The IFMSA fringe is actually also a new event that we started to implement last time in March meeting and it was a huge success in which you as in a creative way, this can be music, this can be art, this can, all this information about the fringe can be found on the animal server. So if you have not heard about it yet, you can ask your animal presidents or your head of delegations to pass on the information. But you can really looking forward, it's a very creative way of tackling issues that we otherwise maybe just issue uh, tackled with panel discussions or something else. So we wanted to go new ways. In addition, as a 
very key aspect of our general assemblies and the work that we do in IFMSA are, are the global priorities. And therefore, again, we do have global priorities side events. So, so for instance, we did have um, certain WHO simulations last time, simulations on um, certain topics that we tackle as universal health coverage, human rights topics, sexual and reproductive health topics, and everything related to global priorities. Also for the first time, this time in the August meeting, we will have capacity building plenaries. These are from now on plenaries to give all the, the capacity building representatives or other people that are present in the GA and center and MO give We lost here. <laughs> so sorry for all the technical issues, people. Um, we're in very different parts of the world. Um, if you have any questions left, you can put it in the chat. We can answer them right now. And um, otherwise, we can hope back in a minute. Um, still here, Zane. Zane, would you like to? Add uh, something about your previous experience, or maybe he's back. Okay, Sarah, the the animal management sessions are the best. <laughs> Those <laughs> training <laughs> sessions is back. <laughs> are I hear. But also, what can you expect from those training sessions? Hello, you can Hello? You hear me. Yes. Yeah, well, we yes. now we can. <laughs> Now, okay. yes, finally. Okay. Where did where did I stop? Um right after the, the global priority. Yeah. I think you just started okay. capacity so building. With briefly <laughs> briefly, there's capacity building plenaries. That means that from now on we will have a, a possibility for capacity building representative of NMOs or people that uh, take over for the GA, talk about the uh, capacity building IOGs, talk about capacity building initiatives, give input, ask questions to the CBIT, and everything related to CB. But also we uh, have from now on specific sessions for improving your external representation. So you can imagine them with this training session on external representation topics, which is also something that received as input and wanted um, from people to have in the next GA. All the information for the external representation trainings, but also the joint sessions, which are sessions between standing committees and the training sessions will be received uh, also via email. So before the GA, you will receive an email with all the uh, different links to register for the different sessions, because make sure that you register for the different sessions so you have a, a secured spot in those. But you will receive all this information either from your head of delegations or animal presidents, but also on the servers of the GA and everything related to the GA and animal management sessions. If there are any, if there were any stops in the explanations and something is lost, you can still just ask us in the comments right now or also afterwards. So are there any other questions at this point? Questions left, you can put it in the chat right now, and um, otherwise, we can hope. <laughs> um, I'm not speaking. Not <laughs> hey, would you like to add uh, something about <laughs> your <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> off. Okay, Sarah, the, the animal management sessions are the best. I think I might be back. Can you hear me now? 
Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm super sorry, everyone, for for this. I don't know exactly. What went wrong, probably. Okay, I'm not sure there is a question, but I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure if I understand the question correctly, because it's basically saying, what is, what is this life about? So this life is about the preparation for animal management sessions at the General Assembly of IFMSA in Taiwan in August. Um, okay, are there any other questions? Okay, I guess there are no other questions for now. Is there anything else any of you would like to share with participants? I think Zane was going to say something about his previous experience, <laughs> right? <laughs> Yeah, right. Uh, yes, I want to encourage. Uh, I want to encourage idea. all the participants in our animal management sessions to engage, to talk, to speak up about mm -hmm. anything during the sessions, and also I want them to think, as uh, as you said, Igor, to think about their animals, to uh, address their current situations in t in the national level, their strategic plan, ask uh, with the maybe the president of their animal or the vice president who is responsible for their strategic plan and try to get get it on a file maybe or in uh, in the phone so we can talk and have discussions with the, with them about their strategic plan and also i encourage them to to help in the master classes if they have something in their mind and they are good at it Maybe they can help the whole IFMSA in the GA and get the opportunity to deliver this experience worldwide. So that's it. Thank you very much. Sane, um, what are you going to do in that assembly is a bit the broad question. Um, I'm not sure if you're familiar in general with the general assemblies or um, but it's the, the annual one of two annual meetings of um, IFMSA. So we have discussions about everything related to organizational structure, organizational um, surroundings in IFMSA. But we also have sessions in about the different working areas that we are having. We're having elections and many other great initiatives that you can receive all the information from your head of delegation from. Okay, any other questions? Any other thing to say from your side? Okay, then I think we can uh, thank you all for watching this, this webinar. Also for those who joined later or just watched it on YouTube. Uh, we're really looking forward to the channel assembly, looking forward to work with you and um, we'll see you already before on our Facebook group and via email. So. Bye, everyone, and have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everyone. I hope to see you all in Taiwan. <laughs>